Welcome to the video. Have you ever wanted to create a color palette really quickly and easily inside of Cubase, but you don't want to use the default kind of color schemes and swatches and tints that are provided? You want something a bit more you. Well, I've created a tool that allows you to do this and I'll show you in a second, but before we use that tool, if you've got Cubase open, the first thing you want to do is go to your project, project color setup, and then just here, whatever you've got currently set, go to the options tab and save color set as default, hit apply, and then close Cubase, completely nuke it. Now how this works is by editing the default XML file that's in your root directory for Cubase. Currently I've only tested this on Cubase 14. I haven't got the previous versions installed actually, I removed them. So if you are an older version, you can try this out, see if it works, report back to me, let me know. But I think it'll probably only work on 13 and 14, if I'm gonna hazard a guess. Now, before we use the tool, um, if you want to navigate to this location, two things. First, in your file browser for Windows, make sure you go to view, show, and have your hidden items checked. And then you'll want to navigate to this location here. So C users, your username, app data roaming, Steinberg, and then your Cubase folder, root folder, should I say. And then in there, you'll see the default XML. Now, before we do anything, copy this and save it somewhere separate, like copy it to your desktop, copy it to a different folder so you've got the original version backed up, okay? Because what we're going to do is load this up and edit it in the tool and then it will regenerate the default XML and then we'll just save that into this directory here. All right, so let me show you this tool working in action. So we're gonna open up our default XML and this will pull the color palette that's currently applied um, to our Cubase projects. Now, we don't want to work with this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. And the first thing I want to show you is the gradient generator. This is a really quick and easy way to create swatches of colors. Now, the amount of swatches you create in steps, you can determine if you want to do it four colors at a time. I'm going to leave it as eight, which is the default. And to start with, I'm just going to choose a nice dark red and set the end value to about 80%, leave the saturation as 100, and then click Add Gradient. Now, the end value here determines how, from the original color, how light it will eventually get. 100% won't take you fully to white, but it will get you, you know, a much softer color, like so. And then saturation will determine how much saturation we want for these. If we want to make them more pastel, then we can reduce this, click add, and you'll see here, okay? Really, really simple to use. Now we have undo functions. We can rearrange colors using the drag and drop handles like so. And if you have an idea of what hex codes you want to use, you can copy those and paste them in here. Or if you've got some colors that you like and you want to create a gradient from, you can copy the hex code if you get this little pop-up window, by the way, you can just hide this menu. Hide this menu always for that website. Um, and once you've copied your hex code, you can put it in, like so, and create a new gradient from that if you wish. So it's really easy to use. Now, the other things we can do, we can delete the individual colors. If we click on a swatch, we can change, you know, the color. We can use the color picker tool. We can go through HSL values, your hex code values, everything that you need to get and choose the colors that you want to work with. Now we're going to quickly create a palette. So we're going to start off, you know, with our red and then we will move through a couple of different shades. Let's go to orange, yellows, Let's go for a green. All right, so you get the idea of how quick this really is to work with. And there's one more control that I really want to show you, and it's called the um, balance palette control. And essentially, this will act as a harmonizer for all the colors. So it will take a look at all the colors in the palette. And then what it will do is it will, it will it kind of improve the saturation and 
relationship between the colours and that, you know, band sort of colours. <laughs> I don't know how you explain it. There's, there's a bit of logic behind it. Um, but if we click on this, you might not see drastic changes. Very subtle, but it will help make things a little bit more consistent. And then once you are happy with your palette, let's go ahead and just add uh, some, there we go, some black to gray gradient. And once you're happy, um, all you do is you go to export. I'm going to save over the original file. Obviously, you guys have made a backup of your original. And then once you've saved over that file, it might give you this warning. Do you want to keep it anyway? It could harm your device. It's not going to harm your device. It's just getting flagged by the browser. Once, once you've saved it, go ahead and open up Cubase. So we're going to launch this up. And while we're waiting for Cubase to load, if you do want to make a donation, to support me and the tools that I'm building and will be slowly releasing over time. You know, I'll have a donation link available for PayPal for any sandwiches or coffees that you want to fuel me with to keep me going. So if you go to the project, uh, project color setup, go to options and go reset color set to default, click apply. This will now update the project with our new color palette that we've just created using that tool, as you can see here. Nice, quick and easy way to build your own color palettes. So hopefully you find this tool useful. If you run into any issues, be sure to get in touch with me through the contact form on the poundsound.uk website. The link for using this tool can be found on the Poundsound website. Again, I'll link it down below, but go to poundsound.uk and in the Cubase tools manual, you'll see the color palette editor.